Falcos here between two of the best Falcos in the nation, Ginger from Michigan and uh, West Coast's uh, West Falls. I think, and this is a rematch of Big House, Ginger took it, mm -hmm. and this is going to be an interesting best of five set. I believe the Big House set was a best of three that Ginger took. Now, how would you say that these uh, two Falcos are, are stylistically different? Um, Ginger plays a little bit more defensive than West Bulls, but, you know, I think they, you know, Ginger's taken a lot of stuff from West Bulls. They do a lot of similar things, actually. But, you, and, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, do you think that one is more like defensively minded than the other? Because a lot of people say that you know West Balls really likes to bring that pressure and get in people's faces. Well, and there are certain moments where West Balls will blatantly abuse like up tilt laser back here and wall you out. So a lot of people think, well, West Balls is super aggressive. There are many moments in many matches where he's okay with just camping you. It's just that he moves so quick that it doesn't look like he's camping. And so overall, uh, it's going to be pretty fast-paced because in this type of matchup, you don't want to be the one shielding and playing defensively. You want to be the one that's taking initiative because as soon as that laser hits your shield, then the Falco has all the movement options and tools to just outmaneuver you. And, at, and if you find yourself kind of getting locked down by those lasers, uh, what, what should you try to do? Just bail out of your shield um, and get out of there? You just read the movement of him trying to shield pressure you and just try to use the micro space and just to narrowly get out. Um, rolling is pretty good. Um, but pretty much you're going to have to just weather the storm and just hope that they don't convert on the shield pressure. And there's like mix-ups that you can do. Ginger's been on an absolute tear this tournament. His last match was against Kobol. He was up 2-0, still went to game five, managed to win. Now he's up against another one of the best space animals. And this is a neck and neck right from the get-go. Absolutely, super close games. And so it looks like uh, West Falls is the Red Falco. I know that the yeah. airports are a little bit confusing because the cameras are swapped. But um, West Falls is usually picking the Red Falco here. So just for you um, people at home. Ooh. Oh, they have colored icons. OK, on the top left and top right. Ooh, and he reads that roll. <laughs> nice hedge cancel there. Yeah. Getting the bear. Yeah, and a lot of new players are doing that. When you get hit on the ledge, you can just immediately forward air. So you have to be careful with your hits as the initiator, or yeah. else you're going to trade. None's really good at, at trying to like DI into that and get that on purpose. I've seen him do it a lot. He's done it to me a couple times, too. So you can see how West just mitigated the shield pressure by back airing. Uh -huh. There's little windows you have between lasers if they're not properly spaced. Ooh, that was a really risky forward smash on shield. Oh, and he gets one of his own. It might just cost Ginger the game. Oh, and he doesn't get the conversion. Oh, but he still confused the combo. What can he get off of this? A down air. That will seal it <laughs> out. Yeah, absolutely. West Ball's taking game one over Michigan's Ginger. Starting off this top eight with a bang, a very close match. Hopefully, we're going to have just as good of a full set here. All right, we go back to Battlefield. And already, we're not seeing too many good conversions here. Um, it's getting broken up, a little sloppy. But they're DIing pretty well to get out, too. Sometimes the combos aren't really doable unless they DI or mess up some sort of defensive escape. I feel like West Balls is already turning up the pace in this in the second game. Yeah. Like feeling has, that momentum from the first game. He has complete control of the stage and allows him more options than Ginger, who has to fight out of the corner. Ooh, a little bit risky. You can't chase Falco in the air like that, or else this Ooh, is going to happen. Nice bear string from West Balls. I thought he was maybe going to convert a stock off that. What can Ginger get off of this? Weak back air. Ooh. No big conversions yet, but Wes is scraping just a bit better. And he's also inching out further and further with his lead here. Ooh. Oh, not enough. Good Falco DI. Falco is a heavy character. It's good DI from Wes. Can't DI them all. Yeah. Just little hits. Ooh, CC. What? That's something Wes is so good at. Mango describes him as a floaty, but like in Falco form, because he knows how to trade in CC into his own conversions off of a hit. See, just Another right edge there. cancel again from West Balls, repeating that tactic we saw earlier. So good at that. Oh, once again, getting pushed off, and he converts with a double back air. Oh, and he narrowly misses once again the follow up. Not really clean. Ooh, but he gets the back air. Pushes Ginger just slightly air. putting himself out of position. Wes is capitalizing on every little misposition that Ginger is showing. Very, very different game than we saw the first time. Uh, what do you think Ginger is doing differently this time that's leading to this uh, larger deficit? Or what do you think West Balls is doing correctly? 
It's just he's reading Ginger's movement, and he's already at the spot that Ginger wants to jump to or move to, and Wes is already there throwing a hitbox, and that's giving him the advantage. It's just a little bit unclean, a little sloppy. Let's see what Ginger gets off this combo. This is a very big... Oh my goodness, he gets to keep it going! Huge moment here for Ginger in the second game. But Wes still lives, and that's the most important part here, regardless of percentage. Yeah, he certainly needed that. He certainly <laughs> needed that edge guard about 40% ago. Everybody else would have rolled in. Ginger had a pretty good idea, but Wes, recognizing that, just kind of holds this corner, but he still ends up dying. Oh, is that it? He's off stage. Oh, and he lives. Barely misses the free bear. But still converting off the side B recoveries nice. that Ginger is doing. The platform movement from Wes in this game has been very, very clean. What? Wow. Maybe some weird DI or something like that. I don't even know if he got that last hit. Wes up 2-0. Ginger's going to need to just recollect himself because Wes is reading the movement and he's catching him before Ginger has a time. Ginger has that moment to even react. Wes up 2. Going into Yoshi's game 3. Can Ginger adjust? This was the stage that Ginger won on last time at Big House. At Big House. Set. Right, exactly. Was that game 3 or game it 5? Was, I, um, I think it was the best of 3. Yeah, I think that was like the last game. Ooh, but Wes's combos, when he's on point, it's so scary to play spaces against him. You know, a lot oh of people, my gosh. A lot of people might have this criticism of Wes that he's always kind of in the same place as far as the game goes, or as far as like his standing goes. But that doesn't mean he's not getting better. I feel yeah. like we constantly see him changing things up, constantly getting better at but doing things. The, the combos right now, Wes is going out of control. Yes, he is cooking right now. Woo! Oh, wow. oh my goodness, he's still getting it in. He has not stopped yet. Ginger has got to find the answers here quickly. Wes is saying that last set at Big House was a fluke. <laughs> I'm better than you. Oh, man. Uh, and the Action. thing is Ginger's not throwing out safe hits on Wes's shield, and he's just punishing over and over again. Yeah, it seems like he's getting a little overwhelmed here. What can Ginger do? This is this could be his... Oh, my gosh. Roll Big jump moment dare. for Ginger here. Let's see if he can keep this momentum riding. Oh, man. Yeah, and Ginger's been doing that recovery over and over again. Wes is ready for that side B onto the stage. Not even shortening that time either. I feel like you're seeing that with Falco a lot, and with, with Fox a lot, you're seeing the like straight uh, straight to the ledge with Firefox a lot lately with yeah. the higher level players. But Ginger's opting to just side B every time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh, it's not looking good for Ginger. Oh, and he wanted to go for a wall jump. That will be it. 3-0. Ginger out at 8. That's Super Famicom 2017. West Balls will be moving on.